Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Land Plays RimWorld. Half an hour on the clock, and uh, I've been reading your tips. There's been a lot of tips compiled. I, I genuinely appreciate that people are largely saying, Hey NL, you're pretty bad at RimWorld, but RimWorld is this very unique and awesome game where it's fun to watch someone be terrible. That being said, I do want to continue to make forward progress. And we have been, let's say upward progress, because time is our forward progress. I think we've been elevating ourselves a little bit. Um, and the graph may or may not show this, but we've been making some... Uh, some strides lately and the first thing that I did and this was a tip that um, I took to heart was you got way too many jobs assigned to everybody and you should try to optimize it a little bit so this is what I've done and I, I understand you know the point of refactoring our jobs from a programmatic standpoint and we can always tweak this as we go but essentially you know the the high level view is basically if you're bad at something I deprioritized it or even turned it off if you were terrible in the hopes that you know Gordon Ramsay always ends up cooking instead of like Sinvicta taking that job when he's only got a four and my hope is that we'll still have stuff that gets done I'm a little worried about hauling because they're all on threes and research is going to be not good for us for now because uh, Gordon Ramsay is always gonna be cooking because we have a bill set up for 75 uh, meals to be cooked and we're only at 24 right now so um, we're going to need maybe somebody else on research at a level 3, but everybody else only has two levels of it, so I'll tell you what, Sinvicta, have you got nothing better to do? There you go. So that's that's that, and we'll look into that menu more as we play, I'm sure. And the other thing is, people said, hey, Colonist Joy is extremely important. Um, one thing you can do is just book like two hours right after you wake up to focus on joy and that'll help everybody's mood a little bit so I hope that that's gonna work out here the other thing that people have suggested is building a walled in stockpile that seems sensible to me um, for things that are not uh, food and then restrict food from being in here so all food ends up in the freezer and all stuff that is not food ends up being outside but I think basically what this means is build a wall around here um, and then also getting indoor plants going so these are things that we're going to be looking for for the next few episodes here. Um, we are in the summer. Everything's going relatively well. We only have six medication in storage, but we do have um, a lot of medicine or, or heal root that should be coming off here. And we do still have two... Oh, solar flare's done. That's awesome. Uh, we do still have two units focusing on growing. We should still have two three units focusing on growing. Poor mood. All right, that's gone. I'm assuming that was... Um, that was due to uh, being hungry. And we're just gonna see how things work here. It's been a few days since I last played RimWorld. I like to record these in big batches. We'll see how it goes. I'm not sure, people have said you don't need hydroponics to grow plants indoors, which is sensible. All you need is like a walled-in area. Oh God, heat wave. Um, a walled-in area with no roof that then has like a sun lamp in it and a heater as well, just to make sure that the temperature stays good in the winter. But um, okay, so what's the target temperature here? 15? Let's crank that down a little bit because it's going to get real hot. We may want to build more solar panels and then build more coolers, especially like we should almost certainly have a cooler in our workshop. What's our steel at right now? 100. People spend a lot of time in the workshop. I mean, we should probably have a cooler in our in our hospital as well. And people set a sterile, sterile floor in here as well. And a sun lamp, I guess, to create joy. But one second. Um, Temperature-wise, a cooler costs 50, 90 steel. Oh, geez. Um, I still think it's worth installing. I don't know if we should install it right next to the uh, smelter, but we'll we'll get that on the go so it's ready. And I think you know I should make a hard save right away. Hard save. You like hard save 042? That's the save where I'm like, did I actually save? Hard save 043 is optimized. That's the idea, at least, is that it's optimized. Um, now these guys, between the hours of 6 and 8 a.m., they should take some time to have joy. And if that involves having a, a morning beer with a friend of yours, so be it. I can live with it. Um, good. Now that all the hops are harvested, the corn is really close, but I can't help but feel that we're probably also very close to having all this heel root get taken care of. Okay, start by reseeding the, um, the hops. That's fine. Beer is always something that we can trade at the very least. Uh, what do we have? Ooh, poor mood. What's wrong with Gordon Ramsay? Oh, right. Gordon Ramsay, I forgot. He's totally screwed because I made it so that... Well, I... You know, I don't want to damn myself too much here, but his daughter did die as basically a direct result of my actions. Um, so remember, Heat Wave is going to be bad. But once we get this cooler installed, hopefully people will be able to stay in the workshop without getting, uh, you know, exhaustion or heat stroke or whatever negative debuffs you can get as a result of that. Okay, we've hauled some fuel in here, I think. Yeah. And this thing still needs to be hooked up. We're going to target the temperature down a little bit to 11. I recognize this is not how thermostats work in real life, but in 
RimWorld, uh, perhaps that's different. It's going to take us six steel, which we have more than enough of, um, to get this cooler set up. And then hopefully it won't be 49 fucking degrees Celsius. Oh my god. Alright, it's already starting to come down. This is good. I recognize you're harvesting the corn. And the corn is an important thing to harvest. Don't get me wrong. Big V, why are you smelting? You should be delting. Smelting is a craft. Is it because the heel root's only 96% grown, so you're going to wait till it gets to 100? That, that's sensible, actually. I, I can wait another day. And uh, uh, smelting is good because it gives us steel anyway. Mental break food binge. Sinvictus picking out on food. Reason extremely hot. Dude, it's 51 degrees Celsius outside. You should, like, really get inside. I don't mind you eating raw corn. Like, for the first time in a long time, we got enough food to last us for, for quite some time. Ooh, cargo pods as well. This is, uh, like, limestone blocks and some slag. I'm happy to have the slag, honestly. People have told me that apparently slag is a UK euphemism for a person that maybe has, uh, you know, a tendency towards sexual promiscuity. I'm using it strictly in the industrial sense. Where are you going, bear? Oh my god, I forgot about this lady. Oh, Zinvicta's over his binge already. Dude, why don't you just actually, like put her out of her misery. She no longer gets food. She's still set for release. I can't even take her back to base, honestly, so this is just like, we're gonna set it and forget it, but there will be a mood debuff because, uh, because of the fact that she's gonna die. So I think we're gonna get a mood debuff for like innocent prisoner dying. Life goes on. Oh, look at that sexy uptick right there. Colonist mood is bad, but we are in the middle of a heat wave, so I think that's excusable for now. And just having a nice little morning bit of pemmican, that's fine. Gordon Ramsay's still cooking. This is going to slow down our research, something fierce, but that's the problem with only having, like, um, you know, two or one individual who's good at research now that we've lost Mathis. And that individual is also really good at cooking, so, you know, it's a Maslow's hierarchy of needs thing. Let's handle food before we handle our own self-actuality. Alpha beavers have just arrived. They're close, um, but to be honest with you, I don't really care too much if they eat all these trees. Because if they come in, we still have enough wood out here, and if we, uh, are inside of our base, we can always aggro them and then have the gun turrets help shoot them, I guess. Bear, are you training this pig? Come on, dog. 33% chance. We're getting there, though. Once we get this pig to the level where it can haul, that's all we need. Or it cannot even haul. It just has release, right? Ooh, wait. This, this pig can learn everything. Trainable intelligence advanced. Advanced. I don't know why I, I apparently had it turned off. I think we got a good equilibrium going here. I know I've been saying equilibrium a lot. All the corn has been harvested. Heel roots at 99%, so that should start popping off soon. Uh, Gordon Ramsay is going to be very hot. Ah, he gets a poor mood when he goes outside, but when he goes inside, he's stoked because it's uh, it's not 52 degrees Celsius. Sweet, all of our heel root is now being harvested. This is wonderful news. And we will have um, a ton of organic medicine, or what, what do they call it, herbal medicine? herbal medicine that we can now use to hopefully harvest organs from people that raid us uh, and of course when I said that what I meant was you know treat our injuries that we're inevitably gonna get too bad Dan died you know one season before we got to the point where we could uh, knock this out but it happens 37% chance that's okay we got 30 meals I will say people might have been saying this for a while but um, we don't need to Cook, like have 75 meals in the tank severe illness. Yeah, no kidding um, We don't need to have 75 meals in the tank because if our freezer holds through the winter and And everything is frozen then who cares? We'll still be able to cook You know 20 meals a day or however many meals a day we can cook and it shouldn't be a problem um, We did get a little bit of research done there as well So I guess cooking is kind of coming off a little bit, but why is that you still have fuel? I guess you were just do, choosing to do something else. The heat wave is over. This is fantastic. We survived that with, like, basically no ill effects. Um, I would love for this medicine to get stored. So maybe we should have one person prioritize hauling. And honestly, I see Bear Taffy 
doing a lot of handling, like like talking to animals. So I think he should focus on maybe hauling um, all of our perishable ingredients inside of the freezer. And hopefully we'll just see that that's how this is working out here. Remember, they have two hours where they can just do whatever they want to do, have a beer, play some pool. No problems. Poor mood. As long as it's Gordon Ramsay that has a poor mood, I'm okay with it. Uh, okay, wait, it was minus four? Oh, it's minus four in the freezer. Okay, that's fine. 18 Celsius might be a little cold. Let's uh, put this back up. We'll just shoot for like 20. And then in here, it's 12 degrees Celsius. It's a little cold. Put that back up to 20. Oop. There we go. So it shouldn't be freezing in there anymore. Now I want to see what Bear's up to. Bear is hauling. Okay, that's perfect. I do wish that he'd prioritize hauling this stuff. They don't go bad for a season, but still. Oh, there we go. Uh, and to be honest with you, it's starting to look like we might need an expansion to our freezer. This is the first time we've ever had to worry about that, which I'm extremely happy with. Trader from Acrobat's community. Okay. They're, they're going to come down here. We'll have our highest social stat trade with them. I think that uh, Big V has our highest social stat right now. Big V also needs a name. Ambus is being attacked by a red fox. This is the tale of Ambus, the prisoner who was later consumed by a small animal left a resting outside incapacitated for a roughly one week. Okay, wait, who's got the highest social stat? I know I said it was Big V. Big V's got a 10. Gordon Ramsay's got an 8. All right, Big V, what are you up to right now? Making parkas? Drawn rulers? No, get a trade going down here. Okay, um, again, I don't really want to sell animals right now. We'll see where that takes us. I don't really want to sell meat either. Because I think we may need that. Um, I mean, it's tempting to buy medicine, but look at this. It sells for so little. It buys for so much, probably because we fucked up the economy so badly. Um, I could buy sandstone blocks, but that seems largely irrelevant. Um... If we sell beer, it's being sold too. It's being sold too cheap, I guess. I don't know. I don't think there's much here that I actually want. Um, but I will. I'll buy components, I guess. So we spend 186. No, wait. Hold up. <laughs> there we go. We lose 259 silver in this. I know it's it's a small operation here. I hate the UI for this trading thing, though. But it's a small price to pay. Negative numbers sell. Positive numbers buy, negative numbers sell. Hold up, okay. Let me put it this way. You have 13 components, I have 22. That gives you 22, this gives me 13. Okay, so I will spend this silver, that doesn't bother me. And, um, I mean, we could sell some beer to even it out, but I don't really care. Uh, do you have steel for sale? You do have steel for sale. It's very expensive. I mean, it's actually, it's very cheap. But um, it's expensive, given my amount of money. I suppose we could buy one beer or sell you 55 beers. I don't know. You know what? Maybe we'll take less steel. I mean, we can make our own steel. What if we just take this to, like, you know, 100? We still lose 400 silver. We haven't been using our silver for anything else, so I think that's fine. And I figured this is the first time where I don't think we need to buy medicine. Instead, we can just... Oh, yeah. Bear Tabby's not going to be too happy about Ambus here, but that's okay. By the way, did everyone get debuffed? Um, innocent Prisoner died. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't unexpected. This is still an eyesore. I'll, I'll recognize that. Where are you going? Hauling steel to dumping stockpile. You know what? It's got to be done, so I do appreciate it. I don't know, honestly, what we could have done about that prisoner situation. I suppose we could have killed them faster and then gotten through the situation at least, but seemed suboptimal. Bear Tabby's gonna be pissed because he saw a bunch of corpses, right? Yeah. I mean, we could we could build graves and bury all these corpses, but I don't think that that's a good use of our time. We're getting close to crematoriums, right? Maybe we can throw the skeletons in there? Psychic drone. Every colonist of the male gender wheezes in pain. That is Bear and Gordon Ramsay. No, just Gordon Ramsay. Okay, so he's already had like a rough time. And that sucks. Um, 
I think another thing I'm gonna get working on here now that we have a bunch of steel is a second gun turret on each one of these. People have said that two gun turrets is pretty uh, important and I don't dispute that so let me quickly get that going. Then you know the, the raids have been pretty easy so far but when they get harder again hopefully um, we have less to worry about. I mean I guess we could make it out of something else but why not make it out of steel? Cost 175 steel, so we can at the very least get one more, um, and we'll we'll put it down here to start with. Kind of want to like avoid as many blind spots as possible, but I also want to avoid them if possible shooting each other. So we'll get that set up right there. We clearly have the power necessary for it right now. I just want, if possible, this organic medicine to get into the to get into the freezer, herbal medicine. Herbal essences, because you're worth it. Okay, BT, what are you up to? Hauling steel to improvise turret. This is sensible. I can't dispute that. We have 311 limestone, so maybe we should just build a wall around it. But it's also, like, so not concentrated right now. Okay, the trade caravan's going. This will give Bear, like, a lot of work to do. But I sort of feel like... Why not, um... Clear a stockpile zone. Like... At least delete it like this. And then we only have to build a wall around this much. And there still should be enough to get in. This was a really bad way to do this, by the way, because we should have one space where you can walk over here. So let's try it like that. This should be part of this stockpile zone. Oh, but it's it's a dumping stockpile. One second, one second. Okay. Dumping stockpile zone. Oh, now I've done it. <laughs> All right, well, I'll tell you what, delete for now. We can always expand it later, um, and we'll build the structure slightly larger around it. And we're going to use limestone blocks, because we got lots of those. We're going to build it like that. Like that. Like that. Like that. And then people said two wide doorways is a good way to handle it. Let's build them out of sandstone, because we have sandstone. Okay. Okay. Low medicine. You have no medicine left in storage. Well, I mean, we do and we don't, right? We have medicine left in storage. Well, we don't have medicine left in storage. We got medicine left. Is there no place to haul it? Is that part of the problem here? I want to see maybe... Bear is our big hauler here, so I want to see what happens once he has... Um, once he has uh, constructed this second gun turret. Gordon Ramsay's going to be in a bad mood, like, fairly consistently here. Yo, BT, you don't need to build this, man. Like, I appreciate it, but you've also got to construct this gun turret ahead of time. It is what it is. And I, I recognize Bear Taffy is basically our eraser. Like, if, if the RimWorld colony was a pencil, Bear Taffy erases. Oh, at least it's just poor mood. Terrible mood shows up temporarily, and I'm not stoked about it, but... Um, it's, it's a little dicey here. Okay, you, you know, you're still building that. That's fine. But go build this. Oh, Stin Invicta's already building it. Um, okay, what if... I prioritize hauling this. I hate to interrupt and micromanage. I, I have faith in the process, but... Look at this. Oh my god. Oh, it takes us one, like, a couple hours. He goes and grabs these herbal essences, herbal medicines. Dumps them in there, and now we got 53 medicine! How do, when does it spoil? Two years? I mean, it really should be in the freezer in that case, but I guess we can hold off for a while. Gordon Ramsay is doing some research as well. I guess his meals are going... Oh, you know what? It's because he needs fuel. Um, so I will have him prioritize. Cannot refuel because you need wood. All right, well, one sec. This has to be done. There's no way around it, so I will micromanage a little bit. I don't want to micromanage them when it comes to having joy because it's always easy to be like, hey, your mental health doesn't matter right now. Instead, we should... Support their mental health. Let them stay happy, and when they're happy, they're gonna get more work done anyway. I know, but like, also... Refuel this, then you can go to bed. Okay, we're good. We're good, and actually this has been a very, just, nice episode of RimWorld so far. Psychic Drone is ending. Wealth! Th this has been a great episode. It's shot up higher than, like, it's ever been, thankfully. Mood has been oscillating back and forth between 35 and 25. Okay, we have a fire. But it didn't actually create 
Oh, it did create a fire. Okay. Uh, well, I kept uh, somebody up late at night. So does Big V firefight? Oh, Big V firefights. She's going to go extinguish this right away, which is pretty important. Not my smelter, man! Okay, that's all right. And then um, we do need to get construction going on a power conduit over here. That could have been worse, though. Repairing is a three for everybody, or a three for everybody who has okay construction skills, so it shouldn't take too long to get it uh, taken care of here. To be honest with you, um, we do need the cooler. I mean, I guess I guess we don't. It's only 51 degrees Celsius because there was recently a fire, but um, it would it would be nice to have a cooler. We do also need to build out our uh, our freezer a little bit. So I am going to... I want to wait until this stockpile's done just to see how many limestone blocks we have left. Because um, we might want to build it out of sandstone. I really don't want to make it out of more wood, but it's becoming pretty clear that we are going to need a freezer. And, you know, the best time to build a freezer was 20 years ago. The second best time is today, right? We want to get this done as soon as possible um, so that we're, we're good to go for the winter time. I mean, we've got lots of stored corn. That's beautiful. We're getting close to the point where we're going to be at an equilibrium of meals, which is a great uh, heavy metal album. But we're going to have uh, a lot of crops that need storage space soon. And it, I guess we can leave the crops outside to some extent during the winter. But it's, uh, it's not necessarily like the most ideal option, I think. And it's 27 in this room. I mean, it's not that hot. It's 25 degrees Celsius in my room right now. And I'm not living on a moon colony. So I guess I don't really mind. I think it might have succeeded there. I don't really mind uh, my colonists being at 27. I mean, they're getting a lot of work done, and we do have air conditioners, but still. I think this is fine. The psychic drone has ended, so let's dismiss that. And really, I mean, it's nice that we haven't had a raid. I mean, I can't deny that that makes my life a lot easier. But this episode has been a lot less spinning our wheels than normal, and I think that refactoring our... Uh, the way our, our workers handle jobs has been important, and I think that... Um, Obviously, a few episodes ago, setting up the uh, the proper priorities and, and uh, restrictions on rooms like this has been important, and I'm, I'm hopeful that in time, mood will also come up to reflect the newfound prosperity of our colony. I mean, the, the big debuff that's affecting us right now, one quarter of our colonists have enormous uh, mood penalties for another season. So, once... Basically, the way I see it is that that is a minus 7, or a minus 6.25, I suppose. A sow has given birth. Oh, how cute. Now we get raided and the the little baby pigs get killed, as we've seen time and time again. But so be it for now, I suppose. Um, we, uh, we have a minus 6.25 modifier on our mood at all times because of the fact that um, that dude's daughter died. And then an innocent prisoner died, which is going to impact uh, everybody at minus 7 as well. Except for Gordon Ramsay, I guess, who apparently does not give a shit. He's got tons of joy, though. I've been enjoying myself so much. I love it. All right, so Victor's getting some cotton for us. We only have 120 cloth right now. So it's not like cloth is is out of control or anything like that. I suppose we should continue to have it. Maybe we should make like some some summer clothes for the next season. It's nice looking at the freezer here, but I can't deny, you know, there's lots of potatoes outside. Um, the, I think the potatoes are outside because they're reserved by Gordon Ramsay. Which is a great title for a program in which he goes to restaurants. Reserved by Gordon Ramsay. Or a perfume. That's also plausible, I suppose. Um, the freezer is going to be tricky. Because we're going to, like, extend it. But not so far that it impedes too much movement. And then we're going to bulldoze this wall. And hope that it works. Without letting out all the cool air. But as long as we... Have it prioritized properly. It should be relatively okay. I think, at least. And our uh, our indoor stockpile is starting to get the work done here. Remember, when I when I came to you with that to-do list at the start of this episode, it's meant for several episodes. It's not like we're going to be done with it um, right away or anything like that. Um, we need to... We need to take an incremental approach to this. We are almost done with our indoor stockpile, which is pretty sweet. We just need to make it so this... You guys are hauling some... Oh, sandstone blocks. Okay. Um, we need to make it so that um, you're not using... You're not storing food in here. So this definitely does not allow food, which is important. 
Everybody's going to sleep. Poor mood times two. Gordon Ramsay and Sinvicta. What's wrong with Sinvicta? Observed. Oh. <sighs> well, what we could do is build another wall around these rotting corpses, and then you only have to see them if you go inside. But the people who construct it are going to be real pissed. Because they're going to be looking at rotting corpses like all day long. I wish like we just have a lightning strike burn up all these skeletons, man. But this is okay. Again, as as has been uh, common over the past few episodes, we're grossly improving here. And I mean like gross in the sense that it's getting... Uh, it, it's improving at a large rate. Not gross in the sense that, you know, life's a bitch and then you die. That's why we get higher, you know... Some kind of, you know, disgusting internet video or something like that. Okay, Bear Taffy's going to finish this off. This is sick. Um, we now have an indoor stockpile. It will be roofed. We don't need to assign a floor. Um, I would like to... Extend. There we go. Dumping stockpile zone 2 is extended. Now we have an indoor room... That... Now that I look at it, it should absolutely have some, you know, lights in it somewhere. Just to ensure that when people go inside, they don't get, you know, scared as heck. Uh, and also, the temperature is going to be, like, real low in here. But some light is necessary. But you ever been in, like, a shed after dark? It's creepy, man. What the hell? Okay. Bunch of cargo pods just landed on top of me. Dro dropped off a bunch of steel slag and some agave fruits. Which I guess I should be really happy about. That's pretty sweet. Um... Thanks for the agave. Even if it weren't so good. Thanks for the agave fruits. Thanks for the agave. I don't really know much of the Fallout Boy discography, but I am familiar with that one. Uh, we still got... Ooh, rare thrombos. Not interested. I heard that one of the... If you go for a thrombo, it can actually rip your arm off in one hit, which I'm not super thrilled about. Yo, we still have like one little section we'd like to be roofed here if possible. But I think everyone's going to sleep now. So Bear Taffy's newest job is going to be, I assume, hauling all of this shit right here. So he's got his work cut out for him for a couple days. How much steel do we have in reserve right now? Zero. Um, because this stuff is not deposited yet. This stuff will be gotten. Okay, but we do... This scared the crap out of me. Raid. Okay, perfect timing. A group of mechanoids from a mechanoid hive have dropped in right on top of you. Yo, they're gonna drop in inside of my building? This is a good time for a save, I'd say. This save will be, um... Where was the last save? It was like two minutes ago. Hard save, 044. Really? So everybody that can attack is about to be drafted. Um, I hope they're on the roof somehow and not inside of the building. Sinvicta... Big V is the one incapable of violence, right? Incapable of violent. Incapable of none. Incapable of scary. Incapable of scary and cleaning. Alright, so you guys are drafted. I don't know, just try to come out this way if possible. Oh! No, disregard. Exactly inside of the building. Well, there goes my pool table. Um... Hey, hey, you big dummy. Come get me. Now, will they ch will they chase me? Will they chase me? Why would you go that way? Simvicta! Get it. No, don't let the pig out, you selfless son of a bitch! Oh, he's just gonna keep fucking up my chairs. Okay. Well... We're going to have to take a different approach, obviously. This is some wild shit, dude. I don't know why this guy hates furniture so much. Okay, open this door. Someone's got to open this door, though, dog. It's going to be held open. No, oh, excuse me, what are you doing? Consuming beer? Now's not really the time, honestly. Um, okay, I'll tell you what. Go to this chessboard setup. Here we go. I mean, we gotta roast him. At least we got some cover here. 
Oh, that's the timer. No! Not the pig! Also, Big V, get the fuck out of here! Oh my god, we've done it. That was actually, if I may say so, I think that was handled very well. Obviously, Colonus needs treatment. At least it's Invicta, and that sounds rude, but I just mean that he's not a good doctor. So our doctors will actually treat him. And that was one of the things that I thought was very important, was to make it so that um, we actually had the ability to not let shitty doctors use medicine, especially now that we actually have some. So uh, that was actually pretty good, and I'm going to save it there, because that was a climactic moment to end it on. Hard save, 045. Pool table. Uh, for now, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. Every day they come out at 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. If you enjoy them, click the like button. Subscribe if you want to see more. And of course, I'll see you tomorrow.